Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Arctic Fox 1150. This is going to be one of the flagship models. It's built to go on a one-ton dually pickup. Let's go ahead and start on some of the outside features. One of the changes I like they made for 2016 is actually the front graphics. It's near impossible to notice in video, but these are actually really high quality design. It's going to be 3D graphics. They just did a fantastic job. Great look right there on the front end, which is something you're going to want. You want a nice looking rig going down the road and that's going to help. When it comes to some of the quality and construction, the thing I love about Arctic Fox is going to be one piece fiberglass from your uh, cab over there all the way into the bulkhead. This is all one piece. You don't have any seams, so of course less chance for water intrusion. Also it's going to be an all aluminum frame with wood block anchors, so that way as the screws go in, it's not just going to you know, have a couple threads in that aluminum, it's going to bite all the way into that wood, giving it the nice strong structure. And as I'm sure you've seen the videos or pictures, uh, you know, it's a full Fully walkable roof. It, you know, you can have 32 people up there and not have a problem. So built extremely well, four season capable, just a, a, a very high quality unit. Even your even your power jacks here. These are going to be the the Ryko 2,500 pound jacks. You have 20 bolts in here. You'll, you'll have 10 on each side. Again, just make sure it's going to be nice and strong, and it's going to have a little shelf on the bottom to help support that weight. And of course, that'll be on all four corners. As we come around to the side here, we'll open up our compartment. Again, if you want to talk about quality, take a look at that. It's a one inch thick compartment door. They have that on all the doors going all the way around. You can see in here, you get a nice extra storage space. This right here will actually drop down and that uh, is going to give you access inside as well. Moving on back here, we can take a look. Open this compartment up for you. Again, more storage right there. Gotta love storage on the outside, right? Our nice big slide here really opens it up. You'll see that when we go inside, just a ton of room right underneath here. You can take a look right there. Storage galore, baby. So we come around the back side here. So it is gonna have the Fox landing, which is gonna give you a couple extra steps as well as a back porch here, making it nice and easy to uh, get into your truck camper. You'll also have a propane quick connect back here. So that way, if you wanna grill out nice and easy, you can just pop it right into there, which will feed off your 60 pound bottles. As we move up from there, right in here is gonna be your generator. That's a Cummins Onan 2500 watt LP generator, of course. It's gonna run off your propane. Uh, excellent generator. Cummins has a fantastic name, nice and quiet quiet as well. And of course we have our ladder. This will fold up so you have access to that Jenny. Otherwise you can go ahead and have it down. But that's uh, you know easy access up onto the roof. You have your uh, rack up there as well which helps uh, assist up onto the roof but again also acts as a rack. Right beneath that, power awning. So you know because you have your porch here, that's where you're gonna want it. The awning, just touch the button, rolls out, touch the button, rolls back in. Super simple and easy to use. You'll also have an LED light up there as well as uh, two outside speakers. So when you're back here hanging out, you can enjoy some music outside. This step right here is gonna be removable. I went ahead and pulled the two pins out. They're gonna be right here. But this guy just pulls out like so. I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside here to show you this, what they call a uh, Joey tray. So this is actually really neat. We just uh, move this guy right here. This will pull out. Take a look at that. You get a nice long tray here. Perfect if you have, uh, you know, like a fishing rod. You can go ahead and break your fishing rod down, put it in there. But just an excellent long tray. Great extra storage there. As we come around to the uh, other side here, so right here is going to be our propane. So as I mentioned, we'll open this up again. You'll have two 30 pound tanks in here. So you get 60 pounds of propane there, which is fantastic. Nice one inch doors on there. Uh, this is gonna be access. This will be for some of your plumbing access right in there. Then as we open this up, kind of like we had on the other side, again, nice large storage area there. You can open this up here. Again, you're gonna have more access. You know, they do this so all the valves and everything are gonna be insulated, um, so you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you. Again, that's gonna be part of the four season, but nice, easy access here. All your connections, all your valves, that way if anything does happen, you have any leaks, you have to replace things, everything's gonna be easily accessible. Right here, of course, is going to be your uh, electric outlet, and then here is going to be a satellite connection. If you happen to be somewhere where you have satellite connection, that'll be right there. 
uh, battery tray. This battery tray does pull out. It is big enough to have two batteries on here. Currently there's one, but you can actually fit a second one on there, so you can have two batteries in this coach. And then right above that is going to be our outside shower. Just drops down like so, so you'll have a hot and cold. Go ahead and uh, screw your hose on there, and you are golden. All right, I know it's great on the outside. They really did an excellent job for the 2016. Look super sharp, amazing construction. Let's go check out the extremely spacious interior. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Arctic Fox 1150. This particular model is going to be in the shimmering sands interior, as you can see by the cushions and the valances. One of the things I love about the 1150, right as you walk in here, you have this nice pocket door, and this is actually going to be a full bath. It's not gonna be a wet bath, it will be the dry bath here. You get plenty of space, you have your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage, you have great storage next to that. Uh, down below, you're gonna have your sink and vanity there, great countertop space, just a ton of storage all around, electrical outlet, and of course, you're gonna have your stool there with plenty of room. As we come over in the side here, of course, we're gonna have our shower, you'll have your hand wand there, as well as a nice big skylight up top, letting in a lot of extra light and giving you some additional headroom. Now, right outside the bath here is going to be our kitchen. As we take a look, we can open up right here, you get some great pantry space. This uh, just has a lock, just has a lever right here to un uh, unlock that. That. this slides out you get nice pantry space here and then you will have extra shelving here down below as we move over a little so this is going to be our main prep area right here um, you know you'll have all stainless appliances so it looks really nice huge countertop in our 1150 which is great um, our oven we do have a three burner stove top here with your cover this is going to be an atwood burner so you do have superior flame control that way you can still actually cook make nice meals while you're uh, while you're on the road and you'll also have this built-in backsplash here as well of course you, you can't see it because it's clear Clear, but uh, that's going to be built in so it's nice and easy to go ahead and clean up. Underneath of course you're also going to have a nice big oven here. Now back up top, you have your hood right here. Uh, this is gonna have a light and fan that are going to be built in. And then right here, it's actually kind of tough to see, but I like the Arctic Fox does this. They're gonna have a dimmer switch for all your main lights. So that way, if you wanna dim it down, you can easily do that. Or of course, you can turn it up so it's gonna be nice and bright. Then right up top here is going to be, again, in our stainless, our microwave. And you have um, you know, your beautiful hardwood, full-faced cabinetry here. So you get excellent shelf there good shelving space you know the the raised panel looks really nice just excellent high quality again more space there LED light here in the kitchen really makes it nice and bright it's actually gonna be a uh, two different two-way light so you can have it a little bit dimmer a little bit brighter here but that's gonna shine plenty of light here right down on our sink which you do have a dual bowl sink nice big bowl on the left smaller bowl on the right nice and easy to do dishes and of course our sink top cover will flip over to turn into a cutting board Right here, you do get a pull-out faucet as well, make it nice and easy to do dishes. And if you feel it, this is actual hardware. You know, it's not gonna be your, uh, you know, plastic, you find a lot of RVs. This is actual hardware, very nice uh, faucet they put on there. Right up here on the wall, so you get your thermostat right here. This is going to be your command center, everything from your tank monitoring system uh, to water pump, some of your lights, as well as your gen start will be located right there. Uh, one other thing to note, uh, right here you do have your water heater controls. So the water heater in here can run off of gas or electric, or if you do want higher recovery, you can turn those both on at the same time. Right up above that is going to be our multimedia center. This is going to be a radio as well as a CD player, and it's actually going to be a DVD player. So you can go ahead and pop a DVD in there, and it will appear on the TV. This is going to be Bluetooth capable as well as touchscreen. So really cool system. So we start to take a look underneath here. You get some excellent full extension drawers, great storage. You have nice cutout right here. Again, some extra storage. Then underneath, you get a little bit of storage and excellent access right there. Now, even though you do have a lot of countertop space, if you do want extra, there actually is an extension that's hidden in this wardrobe up here, but that's gonna uh, slide right in here and it'll actually come all the way over to here, so you get a huge extra uh, countertop extension, so just a ton of prep space in here, which is awesome, and you're gonna have an electrical outlet here as well, so if you need to plug anything in, you can certainly do that. 
right up top actually let me get out of your way here but right up top here of course is going to be our queen bed so you know nice large bed here you get a ton of storage around this too as we start right over here I'll go ahead and drop this down for you but you can take a look in there you get great storage it actually kind of runs in a trough which runs underneath uh, these side door panels you can kind of see it here but they run all the way up so you get excellent storage there on both sides here you're gonna have um, some extra space this side over here is going to have an adjustable shelf whereas your other side right over here is actually going to have a wardrobe so you do get hanging space in there and then right along the side here is where your uh, countertop extension will be hidden up along the sides of the bed is going to be uh, extra wardrobes those are going to be mirrored but you have hanging wardrobes there on both sides as well as a little uh, storage area cut out up front and you'll have electrical outlets on both sides charge cell phones if you do have a CPAP machine you can certainly plug them in there and you will have some extra reading lights there as well as we make our way back a little bit you'll have speakers that are going to be uh, kind of midship here on the bed again controlled by that multimedia center as well as your LED light a fantastic fan here and you will have your uh, TV which is going to be on a swivel mount so you can go ahead and swivel that out and watch it in the dinette if you so desire for additional privacy right here you do have uh, what they call a curtition uh, this just goes ahead and opens right up and then slides across which is going to give you that added privacy right here is uh, additional rack space so again some more cutouts and then take a look at this so again huge wardrobe space you can see you have a hanging rack up top there so you gotta love that great space this is going to be a pull out drawer then right underneath I showed you outside this is the access to that outside compartment so right there it is nice easy access and then we have our Norcold fridge and freezer we'll open this up take a look at that that's a nice big fridge freezer we have in here plenty of shelving space you notice right here they have a cutout so that way if you have like a half gallon of milk or orange juice something a little bit taller you can easily fit it in there as well as a nice big tray on bottom this will of course run off of LP and electric and it is going to have automatic switch over so if you're running it off propane if you do plug into shore power it'll go ahead and switch over to electric for you of course saving you on your propane and then here is going to be our dinette so this is going to be what they call a, um, a dream dinette it is really simple and easy to use there's actually a lever right under here you just pull this lever out and then your dinette will push down and of course it'll go all the way down uh, to make into a bed but otherwise it's a very comfortable dinette easy seating here nice and big so that way you can sit here and you know obviously enjoy your meals play games whatever you want to do watch TV of course you have your LED lights here as well nice big window there and one of my favorite parts is underneath each seat you have big large storage so here it's gonna be a drop-down nice large storage all the way back there and then right here you're actually going to get a drawer so you know we kind of have it full of stuff here but uh, you know your power cord some of your remotes other goodies but again just excellent easy storage right there right behind this seat it's kind of hidden but you do have extra cup holders which is kind of neat um, you also have your uh, window here letting in a lot of light and one of the other storage areas we actually have two more that are kind of hidden that are really cool one of them is going to be right here you can lift this up so nice long storage area great you know if you need a place to uh, you know put your gun something like that that way it's kind of hidden out of the way nice long storage area there and then right up here this actually lifts up too. you have a bin here for storage and if you take a look at that that's actually your water pump so the reason that's really neat is like I mentioned when they were on the outside as far as access getting to things your water pump is one of the things that often do fail so it is really uh, simple and easy for you to access Arctic Fox makes sure they did that for you all right folks I hope you enjoyed the tour again this is a 2016 Arctic Fox 1150 in the shimmering sands interior it's a beautiful beautiful truck camper it is meant to fit on a one-ton dually but you got plenty of space in here a ton of room storage everywhere no longer you know when you think of truck camper do you think of this little small thing you know where you're gonna feel cramped and claustrophobic as soon as you step inside the 1150 you will know you know what a tr true large truck camper feels like and what it should feel like that whole experience definitely a, a, a good reason why it is their flagship if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to go ahead and uh, give me a call here at American RV or you can leave a comment down on the bottom of the video that would be amazing I'll answer it as fast as I can I'm Ian Baker thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom